So far through my fitness journey, I have done functional training and CrossFit. Today is set to be my toughest fitness challenge yet. Muay Thai training with actor and musician Clint Brink. Clint, how are you, my man? All good, brother. How are you? Very well. Good, good, I'd hate good. to be on the end of one of those kicks. Yeah, it's okay. We'll keep it. We'll keep it nice for now. Okay, good. Please, thank you. Born in Pal in the Western Cape, Clint Brink is an accomplished actor, recording artist, and music producer. He's a fitness enthusiast specializing in the age-old combat sport of Muay Thai. Thai boxing Muay Thai is called the science of eight limbs as well. You use eight forms of striking. You use your fists, your elbows, your knees, and your feet. So what we do is like the upper body and, um, and the way that you use your hands will be a derivative of Western boxing, you know, just with slight modifications because to set up like the knee strikes and the kicking strikes as well. Clint, you're a musician, actor and trainer. How do you find the balance? If you have a goal in sight, you know, I think training with the discipline and, you know, the, you have to be consistent, you have to be regimented, you have to watch your diet, you have to watch your weight. You, know, you have to make sure that you're in peak condition by the time you get to deliver. So I kind of like took that and just superimposed that template onto everything else I do in my career. What message would you like to give to people who are looking to get involved in Muay Thai? The people need to understand that the sport you know, can be very dangerous if it's administered by people who don't necessarily know what they're doing. I think for any fitness junkie or for anyone who wants to get fit, we work basically on the principle of using bodyweight exercises, um, you can do things at home, you can do push-ups, squats, sit-ups, you can stretch, you can become fit, you can run around your block if you need to, um, you can skip, so it's, we, we focus on what your body has and expand on that, you know. Clint usually starts his workout with a warm-up that includes shadow boxing, kicks, skipping and stretching. The warm-up is critical to loosening up the muscles and to prevent injury. Muay Thai is high-intensity, vigorous training and the body needs to be properly prepared beforehand. Everything that you throw, from your punches to your kicks to your elbows, you always make sure that you come back to this position. The reason why you try and make sure that your elbows are tucked in like this, if anything strikes to the body, your hands are close like this. You don't put your hand out to block or anything like this. Muay Thai, they use something called wall defense, where you block off, block off, okay? okay. So we're gonna start off with the basic principles of punching. Punching, hands like this, if you wanna make a fist, in like this, make sure that you cover all your nails, right? Wrists shouldn't be bent in any way, wrists should be straight and the point of contact, these two knuckles. So everything that you do, the energy that you channel, when you hit that target, even when you visualize yourself throwing that punch, make sure that this is where it ends, okay? Over the years, Muay Thai has morphed with Western disciplines such as boxing. Consistent and effective use of elbow strikes is one aspect that sets Muay Thai apart from many other martial arts styles. All your movements, when you envision it, bah, to the side, Very tight, eh? wah, side, bah, top of the head, you know, Bottom of the throat. Bah. See, this is what you work with. Muay Thai is the staple of training for mixed martial arts, as Brett found out, a sport where you can't afford to let your guard down or you'll be punished. Good. Hey, 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 hey. You won yourself another prize, eh? 15 push ups within the glove. Hands like this, down. Here we go, nice and deep. Push up. One. Let's go, two. A typical workout also incorporates full body exercises such as jump squats, push-ups and a core workout. It's not just about a combat sport or violence. Muay Thai training works the entire body by using one's own strength and mental focus. It is the ideal workout to get ripped while learning how to throw a punch and defend yourself. Ten. Here we go. Muay Thai is by far the hardest workout I've done out of all of them. I tell you what, looks easy, but it's hard. 